follow on my check one two one two two legit city on the mic yo what's going on everybody how y'all doing today two legit city here today we're playing some of that oxygen not included today we're gonna be getting into a new colony you guys of course let me adjust the camera oh we can't we can't see mamba oh that sucks he's on the other side of the pillow oh that sucks no mamba camp today it's sadly in a bad position. But of course, hope everyone's doing good today. Hope everyone's having a good Thursdays. We're gonna be getting into it. I spaced out. Is this it? Is this it? Flipped asteroid, flipped asteroid. And we have no idea what kind of modifiers we're gonna be rolling with. So this has eight planetoids. Regolith, we know about that one. Ice, of course. Oh, there's a radioactive asteroid. That's really good. Guaranteed uranium. Frozen forest, metallic swamp, desolance, and then the flipped. Okay. This one is going to be where the tree is then, right? You can't have the tree on this because it's frozen. We should be okay. So, first things we got to do is the D20. We're going to rotate. Oh, crap. We're going to hit the uh, re-roll seat 13 times. Oh, yeah. Max sliders, too. Max sliders. I don't know what this does. We just know that we hit it to the max. Stress reactions, teleporters, care packages. No sandbox. No save the cloud. This good? This good. Nice. Okay. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Frozen core, metal rich, radioactive crust. Oh man, radioactive ocean with radio. I have triple radioactive crust. This is a meme, dude. <laughs> this is a meme. They're giving me uranium on the ice asteroid where we need uranium. And they have a crash satellite. I don't want to make the assumption that this is going to be easy, but man, you give me this, all I need to do is bring generators and power in order to breach the tear. That's really nice. Because this is what, passive 2k, 3k? Hey, staff coming in with the 19th month. Thank you so much, staff. Appreciate the support. Welcome back to the city. Enjoy the emotes, D20 dice, ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support. How are you, staff? Hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a good Thursdays. And it's gonna join the colonies. I see you over there, staff. We'll get you in right now. Do you have a preference on what would you like to do? So, max settings. We are on the uh, 13 D20 that we rolled. This is pretty good asteroid, to be honest. You're going to be strong. Okay, so you want things that give you plus strength. So you're going to be our, our house cleaner then, Seth. <laughs> That's the only thing that increases strength in the game. You're going to be one of the house cleaners. You're going to have to clean the toilets, mop the floors, carry all the goods to the cabinets. Otherwise, you don't you don't get you don't get stronger. <laughs> like like that that's that's the only thing you could really do. All right, so I want triple interest on everyone on the base. There we go. All right. Uh I want to see if I can get a new dupe skin while I'm at it. Never lucky, man. Can you get a new... D you can, right? In the beginning. I know you get on... Oh, there we go. We got one. Oh, he's only a double. Can I change that? Oh, you can't. Oh, that sucks. Come on. Come on. They're only double interests. They gave me three back-to-back -back new dupe skins. Never lucky. Never lucky. Seth, you're okay with that, right? 
We're gonna make you clean everything. Yeah, the blue hair dupe's pretty cool. But I, I want the triple interest, man. I really want that. Oh, oh, we had it. Oh, here we go. All right, so that's gonna be one. I like the guy with the fade. Oh, come on, why can't you get another uh, interest? That would have been amazing. So, Steph, if you didn't know, a patch came out. And they have uh, new dupes now. They came out with four new dupes. Oh, here we go. We got another one. Guy with the bow cut. Come on. Always lucky. It makes me feel like I'm... I'm re-rolling like I'm playing RimWorld. Oh, oh I, I hit the button too many times. That was it? That was actually it? And it was the same guy? I feel bad. I bopped the same guy again. Scarlet Man! Hey, what's going on, Scarlet Man? It's been a minute, man. How have you been? Hope life's been treating you well. Oh, come on. We need one more interest. There it is. Okay. So, Steph wanted pay. Steph is okay with being the tidier. So, we'll change that right now. And then Scarlet Man wants Quinn. I got you guys. Scarlet Man, what do you want to do in the colony? What do you want to do in the colony? Blue lady clean stuff, very strong. Alright, tidy build. No, tidy farming. No. Tidy. So yeah, dude, life is I good to hear, good to hear. Life is uh not bad, right? That that's it's better than having the you know bad things happen. Alright, so she's gonna tidy. I also need her so we're gonna have a researcher rocket pilot and then we're the we're gonna have a mechatronics guy build stuff okay that's perfect so that means we're gonna give staff digging sadly digging does not make you more strength it just increases your attack damage so dig tidy and the last one is Probably going to be Cthulhu will see you over there. We only have one slot left, and it's the data bank guy. So if you want to join the colony right now, man, you could you could be the da uh, data bank guy. You're gonna fight. I see a staff. You're gonna be shooting people with the plasma rifle. So so tidying, digging. What should I give? For the last attribute so it's probably not gonna be a doctor because I don't need that and then I don't need a decorator early on I don't want you to cook because that takes a long time so it's probably gonna be either farming or ranching I probably don't even want you to do farming or ranching because I want you to be the priority miner. So we'll keep you on operating. That should be fair. That should be fair. You want to ranch? I could give you ranching. That's fine. You're not going to do that in the early game anyways. Uh, Raisa, I see you over there. Science. Welcome on in. I could give you ranching. That's fine. Alright. Traits. Uh, Staff, you have a preferred trait? You too, Scarlet Man. Preferred traits. Alright, so we'll swap the other ones soon. So, Scarlet Man's gonna be the builder. There we go. You wanna be Night Owl? Okay. Do you want bottomless stomach? <laughs> Is this a mod? Yes, I have a mod that allows me to change my attributes. 
So I can make it really broken and get something like uh, tier 3 digging off the bat, but I try not to do that. We just try to get the attributes that we want. The traits are kind of just whatever. Just try to get something that's balanced. Because I actually will stand here and keep rolling. Because it's... It'll, it'll take me like 30 minutes. And I used to do that when the game just came out. Like roll the dupes until we get the setup that we want. So it's like it just saves us time. You know, as a streamer, it's kind of like, yeah, I, I'd be doing it anyways. So. Alright, so the traits that we want to give Steph. So she's going to be a Night Owl. That's cool. No, I don't want to give you Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy sucks, man. I don't want you petting the animals and then falling asleep and get eaten by the animals. That used to be a thing, if you didn't know that. The hatches used to eat the dupes back in the day. Just one bite and the dupes die. You just want this roll. I see you over there, Scarlet Man. I see you over there. Alright, so... <laughs> Tripophobia. Dude, Staff, I give you Tripophobia. You can't dig, but... But you got dig specialty. <laughs> uh, Staff, can you cook? Do you know how to cook in real life? Like, really well? We'll give you Gastrophobia. Choose the ping one. Sorry, English not the first language. Uh, the ping one. The small bladder? Small bladder. That's that's a thing. Where you have a small bladder. You cook, but you have no dishes. Okay. Okay, I'll give you small bladder. Steph gets small bladder. Come on, here it is. Small bladder, we're in, boys. Gotta pee all the time. Alright, so we got one. Uh, stress reaction. You start yelling at people when you're stressed out, Steph, like a banshee whale. That's fair? Yes, no? This is a new stress reaction, by the way, if you uh, haven't seen it with the patch. And then the overjoyed will give you the opposite of that. You start singing when you're overjoyed. So when you're mad, you start yelling. But when you're happy, you start singing. Is angry. She-Hulk smash. Okay, okay. So we will give that to Steph. So for Scarlet Man, build operating supply. That's a natural mechatronics. We will give you... Hmm. I don't want to give him skills. Skills are OP. So we're going to skip through this. Huh. Scarlet Man, are you quick on your feet? <laughs> If Scarlet Man is quick on his feet, we might give him Twinkle Toes. And then for the negative trait, uh, I guess I am now a. I did an autra autism spectrum test. Therapist suggested it, and I'm only moderate symptoms, but my aggression is almost off the charts. Yo, I see you over there. I did lose a lot of weight. Alright, so I can't give you endless stomach, right? Bottomless stomach. <laughs> this guy, this guy's working out. I can't give him bottomless stomach, man. I didn't know that was a thing stuff. Maybe I should take that as well. Let's see. He lost weight. I eat a lot when I first eat, so I don't want to give you bottomless stomach because we're playing max difficulty. You're going to be eating more than normal anyways. <laughs> I'm worried about that, man. I can link you to one. I see you, Steph. I might, I, might, I might think about doing it. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, you stylish, Scarlet Man? No, that, that's actually kind of bad. Shabby dresser.
bottomless stomach. Yo, Scarlet Man, you got allergies? This is pretty legit. Give them allergies. <laughs> I snore, I think. Ah, oh, okay, we give you snore. We'll give you a loud snore, that's fine. And then the stress reaction is... Binge eater might be okay. You said you used to eat a lot when you first eat. So every now and then you might binge, okay? And then the overjoyed is you start running around butt-ass naked. That makes sense. That helps you lose weight, right? <laughs> just trying to make sense of everything. I'm diagnosed with BPD. And I think a lot of my symptoms are just PBD. Oh, it just happens to overlap. You don't binge. Okay, that's fine. Uh... Alright, we're gonna give Scarlet Man a D20. And he rolls a 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You're a binge eater. <laughs> Scarlet Man, if you want me to change this, you have to choose something else. But Nightbot has granted you binge eater. <laughs> Let me know, man, if you want to change that to something else. You gotta, you gotta choose it, though. You gotta choose it, though. If it's up to me, I give it the Nightbot. Nightbot chose Bin Jeter, so it's all is fair. But if it's your dupe, I could uh, change that if you want something else. My dupe could Bin Jeter, that's okay. All right. All right, so the last guy I want is going to be our researcher. We have to do this. So research, rock tree, and then I typically have him do suit wearing so that he gets the, uh, he gets the, uh, the Atlas suits. They Scots have spoken. They really did. All right. So this guy is going to have starry eyed because he's going to be in the, uh, the rocket. His negative trait. Um, since he's going to be in the rocket, I don't want anything skill related. Can't mess with the RNG, man. Biohazardous. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Does radiation fall into germ resistance? If it does, I don't want to have that. Can't do research on a researcher. That's pretty bad. Unpracticed artist, I think we'll take this. This is pretty good. This guy's smart. But he's uh you know, not artistic. Alright, so this is gonna be flipped mamba. So if you guys didn't know, we were playing on the flipped asteroid. And the flipped asteroid is where the magma's on the top of the map. Silent One's gonna take Steve. Nice. So we got exactly all three dupes in the beginning. I see you guys over there. We'll get you guys. We'll get you guys. All right. I think we're good. Let's get it in, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in today at the start of the uh, colony. And of course, let's let it begin. So pause. First thing we got to do is check out the map. Oh, we have a geyser immediately right next to us. Is this lucky or is this unlucky? Oh, and you know what else we have right next to us? To AETN. How convenient. What What is up with this start, dude? I have an AETN and a geyser immediately right next to me. Oh, and a Neutronium. Okay, so we start off at the bottom of the map. This is interesting already. Yeah, this is the bottom. I'm, I'm holding down right now, and I can't move further. All right, all right. So, pay is going to be stuff. And then we have Quinn. That's going to be Scarlet Man. And then we have Steve, who's going to be silent. We're in, boys. The starting dupes. 
Staff, Scarlet Man, and Silent One. Funny enough, Scarlet Man is wearing a red shirt. I see you over there. What's going on, Carcer? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good day. Hope you guys are doing well today. And of course, yo, Triple S. Dude, I didn't even realize that. Everyone's name starts with a letter S. Alright, so first things first, we gotta set up the priorities. Uh, life support should be plus one. Toggling should be plus one. Doctoring should be a low. Rocketry disabled. Cooking disabled. Decorating disabled. Researching disabled. You do this because th these skills are very heavily skill related and you don't want to give them these skills unnecessarily. So because of that, I uh, usually X them out. Staff was our miner, right? So you're going to mine. You're also going to ranch. Oh yeah, mining, uh, ranching is also this lab. Unless you're a rancher. So Steph does that, does that. So you were what? Operating too? Husbandry, strength, excavation. Oh, tidying. There we go. Okay. And then Scarlet Man is a build supply operator. Silent One is a rocket pilot researcher. And then you are you run around. Okay. So after you're done with the research, we'll have them do farming and storing. We'll also have Scarlet Man do storing and Steph as well. Steph will also help out with some of the supplies. And I think that's good to start. Hey, Spill a Boy Hero, what is good? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Let's set up the schedule as well. Uh, we only need one hour, I mean two hours to sleep, but we are rolling on uh, one night owl. So this is going to be only for the first day so that we can get our bathrooms guaranteed. So we'll just set it up like that for now. Now before we start, I'm going to go into the star map. Because you can hit Z and go to the star map at any time. And... Oh! Wait a second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, shit. The later asteroids are not centered. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can actually go from here to the edge of the map and back with a Red Bull rocket. But I can't do it on the left side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is 32 tiles. This might mean I actually have to make the hydrogen rocket. That's going to be actually kind of wild. I've never actually had to. Okay, okay. Let's look at it upwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tiles to the top. That's weird. It is weird. I've never seen this before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so the star map's larger. This is interesting. I wonder if this has to do with the max difficulty sliders I did in the beginning. If you guys didn't know, we're playing with max difficulty. Everything is wrapped up. Now, we're going to click on the asteroid and look at our stats. 30,000 lux, not bad. 218 cosmic grads. This is pretty good. Metal rich. Liquid Sulfur Geyser. Okay, so Sweetles are going to be one of the things we're going to want. Natural Gas Easy Power. Okay. And then Hot Polluted Oxygen. Oof. I find flipped hard enough on uh, default. I... I... I wanted to do Max Difficulty. And then the people suggested I do Flipped Asteroid at the same time. So it's either going to be very good or very bad. <laughs> we'll see cars there. We might run into some difficulties as well. All right. For the most part, there's no water outside of the cool steam. This is my first time on max difficulty. This is my first time. So if I go into... Yeah, look at that. Highest difficulty. So it's 2000 kcals per cycle. <sighs> this is going to be fun, boys. Frankly depressing. Oh my god. The stress modifiers. 
All right, all right. So, first things first, what geyser is this? Hot polluted oxygen at 500 degrees Celsius. Okay. Good luck. Fingers are crossed. Thank you, Ace Billable Hero. I uh, hope we do well. All right, so it's polluted oxygen. That's actually low priority. I don't know if I want to use that. I'm realizing that we don't have that much algae. Right? Because I think, yeah, there's no, like, jungle biome. There's wasteland sandstone. Nothing, yeah, nothing has oxygen here. So we have to melt the ice for water for O2 then, is what I'm looking at. Because you don't have anything that's in the sulfur biome right here with the Sweetles that gives you oxygen. You get algae in the beginning, sandstone. Otherwise, it looks like we need to get electrolyzers. With the issue being that we don't have water. So I probably have to find a teleporter ASAP and hope that my second planet has a water source. Okay, so given how that is, I think we're going to have to build downwards in the beginning due to how there's the neutronium there already. So we'll set that up. We'll mine that up as well. I think very randomly. Wait, how long is this? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19, 20. So it's technically here. Okay. So I can't mine the granite. That's fine. Oh, there's a hatch already eating. What a guy. Alright, so... So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then blank tile. And then ladder. Or we pull one more here. And then we go up to here. I, I, I think either way, I think it's going to be fine. So, I will want my ladder right there. Alright, so the oxalite will run out of oxygen eventually. So we're gonna have to mine out that tile. Okay. So one, two, and it's these two. We gotta mine as much as we can. That water's gonna spill. That's gonna be fine though. Uh, and then we need to get to a water source, right? So, hmm. This is a vacuum. We could have the water fall down. Or we could just let this water spill out somewhere and use that. This is gonna be a pain. All right, so the bathrooms are gonna be at the bottom, straight up. We're gonna have to have the bathrooms, right? And then... We're gonna do this. Mine out the oxalite, just because I think it's gonna be worthwhile right now. Mine that out. Go like that. Hit the ladder there. Get those mined in. X all of this out. There's the water. Try to mop it up if I can. Actually, let's let's cut the mop. And because of how that works, right? It's gonna be like that, like this. Like that. And then plumbing. Outhouse. And then we have the wash basin right there. Alright, this is going to be more important. Should be good. Should be good. And max that out. The hatch is going to be in the bathroom. I guess that's going to be fine. It looks like it's going to be a cold map, dude, with the ice. That's a little bit interesting. Alright, we have water. I have... Duties, make that max. 
All right, so now that we have our first bathroom, we're set. Start mopping, doing all the extra things that we didn't want to do, but we do it now. This is 16, so we do need one, two, three, four. Because we want that to be 20 tiles wide. All right. Oh, I can't even see my cake cows, dude. I just realized that. I could barely see my cake cows. Is it me? Or is the overlay a little bit large? Like my buttons. Let me, let me shrink that really quick. There we go. That's a little bit better. What's good? How are you, Earth Nine? I see you over there. They so slow. Fresh dupes, man. Fresh dupes. Everyone's sleeping in the bathroom together. We'll get you guys beds. Don't worry. Don't worry. He caught it at the new start of the colony, Earth Nine. How are you doing today? How is the Thursdays? Only when you're leaving? Alright, so... The next thing I want to do is create a drop-off for the debris. So I should mine out everything first. Today has been a shambles. Oh, what happened, man? Anytime a bad day happens, just know that most of the time, something good usually comes around and makes up for it. Oh, I messed up the tile. Feels bad. Days will get better, Earth-9. Hopefully. Oh, teleporter. Oh, it doesn't show me. Okay, I gotta move closer. Dude, you have to wait six hours for a train? Oh man, that sounds like a rough time, dude. But you made it. Hey, good stuff. It sucks that you have to wait that long, though. Wait, that's why... In America, we don't wait for trains. Alright. Nice. Frozen core mixed boulders, 30k lux, not bad. Infectious polluted oxygen, oil reservoir, hydrogen, chlorine, and cool steam vent. Oh no, dude. We don't have water. <laughs> we don't have water. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be difficult. We don't have a guaranteed water source in the beginning. So we have a cool steam vent here, right? Did I? Yeah, yeah. And then we have a cool steam vent there. So I have to use cool steam vents for water sources. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I see Earth 9. Yeah, that still sucks though, waiting that long. But yo. You made the journey. You made the trip. Don't have to deal with it anymore, hopefully. So we already found out some bad news. We do not have uh, <laughs> a water source. That's going to be fun. Actually, let's not do that yet. And then I need to get my first science set. So the research station is going to be there. Uh, we're just going to run here. And we'll have the battery outside. We're going to have to use algae oxygen. So I'll just have that here. Just hope it's not going to be the same on the way back to home. Yo, man. Trains, aren't they on a set schedule? But I guess you can't, you know, foresee things like delays and the whatnot. That's always going to be a hassle. Hopefully you don't, man. Mm. 
No guaranteed cool slush. Nope. I don't even care about the cool slush. I just want a, a water geyser, man, of any kind. I just need water. Oh, man. Technically, I have natural gas that we could use the water for. Uh, from the polluted water, right? Grab the farm tile. We need that. Oh, there's strikes on trains in the UK? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that sucks. I usually get cool steam vent and a natural gas on that map. I see, I see. So we're going to have to make do with the uh, cool steam vent, huh? Yeah, cool steam, cool steam. Cool steam vents. That's, that's, a, that's a gas geyser, technically. Not actually a water geyser. For max sliders, you mean on difficulty settings to max? Yes. So if I click on silent one, you could see over here that he has ravenous for the calories, right? Minus 2,000. And then his stress is also plus 20% for highest difficulty. So yeah, we are running with the max difficulty stuffs today. And this is going to be our first time playing with it. We'll see what happens. All right, so it looks like because of the cold thermal energy, I want to grow my food at the plot. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I also want to ladder down if I can. There's a water source right there. Yesterday in the UK, I see, I see. Oh, is that why you had to wait six hours because of the strike? Oh, that sucks. Dude, this is going to be interesting. How am I going to deal with the cold energy from the get-go? I think I have to seal it up, man. I think there's no other way. There's a vacuum over here to prevent the cold from leaking through, so that's nice. This is sadly not a vacuum right there, though. So it looks like after I do... It looks like after I do my farm tile, I'm going to want to get insulated tiles. Okay. Would it be beneficial to grow food on this planet? We do have a radioactive crust. I just don't know if, you know, we could do anything on there. I should really keep up with strikes. I'm striking tomorrow. I should know the fellow union members are doing. Oh, I see you, car, sir. Gotta be in the know, dude. Knowledge is power. Oxifern? How am I gonna say no? I need that. I actually need that. Okay. I kind of have an idea then. Okay, okay. Interesting set. Interesting set. Interesting set. Interesting set. Okay, okay. There isn't a lot deep guide on how to do achievement run max difficulty settings. Just an idea for the future. Ooh, not a guide, but I could do a playthrough. Max slider, max difficulty, all achievements. I think the biggest thing for doing an all achievements runs is the asteroid you actually start off on. I feel like that's the most important thing. I'll see you over there, though, Tio. Appreciate the ideas. Damn, so many strikes over there, man. See you later. It's quite late. and got a biddy's day tomorrow. Got to Earth 9. Take care of businessman. And, uh, dude, praying that there's no strikes so you get a uh, easy time going home. But yo, hope you have a good day, good night, and we'll see you next time, Earth9. Thank you for stopping by, dude. I started on the last one on the DLC. It was a nightmare. <laughs> That's the uh, radioactive ocean. Is that what you're talking about, Tia? Good afternoon. What's going on, Engvol? How are you doing today? Dude, what's happening in the UK, man? 
I didn't know you guys had strikes going on in the whatnots. Alright, so I need to get the supercomputer next. Alright, so I can't get insulated tiles yet. I guess it's fine. So I do want to make my farm over here. So it's going to be like so. I also need to seal this up right here. Strikes all over the place. Man, I am not keeping up the world. Ooh, new colony, always fun. Yep, yep. We're playing with max sliders, max difficulty on the flipped magma asteroid. And this is going to be my first time on the max difficulty setting. So we'll see how bad I do. <laughs> we will see how poorly our run is going to be. Tag me in, coach. All right, Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. You have a preference for what you want because everyone's taken so far. So if you want to get a specific dupe for your job type, let me know. You want to be a pilot. Okay, we got you. We got you. But uh, you're going to be on the wait list, Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. Good news is, is that you're number one in the wait list. Don't worry, man. You're going to be in the colony soon. But as of right now, you got to wait. I'm sorry about that, man. They got to make you wait. All right, so we're just doing a lot of digging right now. We need to make space. And then we're going to start to make food soon. You, you, you saw another max difficulty on Rhyme and it's tough. Do you max difficulty? It depends. I feel like if it's your first time doing max difficulty, you're not going to be used to the pacing that you need to play at. And if you are used to it, I feel like it's going to be a bit easier. Right? You got the experience with it. But we'll see. I hope I don't run into uh, that bad of a time. As long as it's still a fun time, I'm happy. I see you over there. You're getting notifications on stream, but you can't watch on your watch. <laughs> Appreciate you, Mr. Arrow fellow. We'll get you in soon enough. It's impressive how much food they will consume. Yeah, we have to redo a lot of our food calculations. Since they're double on the uh, calorie count right there, instead of 1,000, it's 2,000. That means we have to double the amount we would actually have to provide uh, from what we would naturally do. So yeah, that is going to be one of the things. We are going to have to provide more than necessary. They were seasoned, but they ran into a water geyser issue as they were water poor. Dude, that's exactly what's happening with me. Engvall, look at this. Hot polluted oxygen, liquid sulfur, natural gas, cool steam vent. So cool steam vent's a little bit of water. And then we have cool steam vent, chlorine, hydrogen, infectious polluted oxygen, and then an oil reservoir. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting time. This is going to be an interesting time. We're already generating stress. Steph, Steph is stressed out, Steph. What's wrong? Can you tell us what's wrong, Steph, so we can make it easy on you? We're just looking to help, Steph. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know. We just want you to be happy. They want you to use public transport, but with the strikes, it shows why owning cars is better. Yeah, I feel that, man. It's tough sometimes. You're just channeling IRL me. Yo, man, Steph, stop being stressed. You'll be okay. Everything will be fine. Aw, oh, man, we need food soon, dude. <laughs> Guys, we need food soon. This is already kind of bad. I had to rush to space from a uh, second asteroid. Okay. You couldn't do it on the first one? Interesting. Usually I get fined with two chefs on my run 10 dupes. Four was a chef. Oh man. Probably Snowy Scarlet Man. Oh, I don't have beds for you guys. Maybe that's why you guys are mad. I, you guys are you guys are sleeping on the floor still. <laughs> Cycle five, man. I don't even have beds yet. Guys, soon we'll get beds soon. Believe me. <laughs> we'll get a couple beds for you guys, man. In due time. Everyone has a sore back, man. I want to see what's stressing out stuff. 
Oh, the highest difficulty is uh, bop and step on the face. Feels bad, yo. There was magma in the way on flip. Okay, okay. Alright, so this is gonna be... This is gonna be the new bed area for the people. We'll get it soon. We'll get it soon. Provides nothing. Why are you mad? I mean, they're not telling me they need things. So I'm, I'm giving them what I think they need. The bare minimums. <laughs> Everyone over there on the bare minimums, man. Pre-order snacks and drinks for your flight. Oh, man. Steph, have you seen the one where one of the airplanes... They lost, they, they ran out of fuel while flying over the Atlantic Ocean. And what they did was give the people on the flight free snack vultures. So the coupon for free snacks on the flight. <laughs> that shit was the ultimate meme, dude. Oh, man. Like, come on, man. That's all you guys are going to give? Free snacks? All right, so we're gonna get the supercomputer on. I'm in. And then I think I have to make you guys eat dirt. I'm sorry, man. Dirt is healthy and we need to eat this to survive. <laughs> I'm very sorry, you guys. Y'all gonna have to eat dirt. I did hear about that, Lamo. Oh, man. Wait a second. Printing pods come every six cycles? Oh, crap, yo. <laughs> Printing pods come every six cycles? I just realized that. Wait, does that mean my skill gain? No, okay. My skill gain, e EXP gain's the same. Okay. Alright, so Silent One, you're going to be the smart guy. Give him the research skill. Scarlet Man. He needs to get to Megatronics. Steph. Needs to learn how to mine. We need to get you stronger, Steph. Did you know Canada has the worst flight delays in the world for like two months now? Really? Damn. What's, what's happened in Canada, man? I thought you guys had it covered. Feels bad. Alright, we need to start growing food. I really don't want to start growing food yet, though. <laughs> I really don't want to start growing food yet. Because I want to have clean... I mean, I, I guess. You know what, guys? For the sake of... Uh, for the sake of hard difficulty, I can't be pessimistic or avoid doing things. I need to do what I believe we need to do instead of having things be perfect. I don't want to always sit here and be like, it could be better if I wait. Because what I'm thinking about doing right now is if I mine all this out, the items fall to the bottom. And then that way I could build my farm tiles here without worrying about debris on it. And then I'm like, yeah, I kind of need the food growing already. So two of the largest airlines are wildly short staff after the pandemic. So I'm very happy to be flying with United. <laughs> I see you over there. For the sake of survive, we got to do it for the sake of survive, man. Oh, we got an achievement. All right, we're going to look at that later. I don't know what achievement I got, but it is what it is. Oh, we're getting muckroo. Sweet. Oh, that's already counted on the calories. Oh, we don't have enough food. All right, guys. I hate to do this, but we got to do it. We're going to have to eat dirt bars. Oh, man. Going to have to be eating dirt, boys. Dirt's back on the menu. Alright, so... Here... hate to see it be like that sometimes don't worry though 
things will get better. At least I hope. Oh no, Steph is more stressed out now. <laughs> the more we talk about things happening in Canada, the more stress she gets. Come on, man. We gotta change the topic. We gotta change the topic. Where am I getting all this water? Oh, it's it's mopped up on the ground. Okay. Uh, that probably means that I can't mine the abyssalite, huh? I need the water level to drop so that I could go in. I don't want to spill the water. <laughs> Feels weird, yo. I don't know how I could safely do that. There's sand here too, that's such a travesty. Alright, so we need the farm towels ASAP, and we're gonna be growing millwood. On the hardest difficulty achievement run, I have to keep space on the side of the printing pot for the musher. Oh, you did that for the uh, speed bonus? I'm putting the research there instead, because I'm thinking that's gonna be beneficial. Guys, I'm grabbing the water. Because I don't have enough food. <laughs> I can't provide for any of these guys, regardless of how good they are. So, we're going to be uh, doing that. I I feel like potentially getting Carnivore on max difficulty is easier. Is what I'm thinking. Because you're eating so much more calories. Which means that you could, you know... Do a mix of meat and, you know, planted foods or uh, other foods. It feels like it works out. At the same time, I really don't know. Alright, so the coldness is going to bop us soon. This is already leaking. I really need my insulated tile. Problem with the achievement run is you can't farm until you hit local wars, so you need to survive with just the mush bars. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Wild planting, wild farming. Look at that! I have a harvest ready sleet wheat. I get some frost buns, baby. Bread's back on the menu too. I wouldn't mind some bread. Gotta have some carbs, you know. Okay, so after that, we're going to change up the schedule. Uh, we're going to have the default guys go to sleep a little bit early. So that staff gets her 9 hour bonus. It's going to be like that. So that way we default into that. I also need to put the hamster wheel to a higher priority so that they always run the wheel. Zero K Cal, don't worry guys. We're we're cooking. We're cooking. Two thousand times eight hundred. So I need what? Five I need to make ten of these. Okay. Surreal! Holy crap, that's a name I haven't seen in a long time. What's going on, Surreal? How are you? How have you been, dude? What's up, two old C and the Mamba crew? Mamba sleeping, dude. I'll put the kitty on the camera, but uh he's 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 out cold and there's a pillow blocking him. So, there's the pillow. Let me take off the filter. There's a huge mound right there. And if I lift up the camera, you could see Mamba sleeping on the other side. Look at this guy, man. He got his legs out, looking like the Puma logo, sleeping on the hill, the pillow tower. Y'all know how it is. Mamba is doing pretty good, though. He's just uh, napping away. Being a good kitty cat. But how have you been, Surreal? Hope you've been well. Hope you've been good. It's good to see you again, man. They eat a bit less than three mush bars for the dupes. Yeah, they eat two and a half, dude. That's messed up. 2,000 calories. It's been a while. Doing good. Actually tried City Scan the other day. Found a cool video guide. Helped me figure it all out. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff, man. I was thinking of venturing into the city's category, but, you know, I found an easier time doing Oni content, so we're doing that. 
Oh, you're doing a lot of the space games. Dyson Sphere, Stellaris, not bad, not bad. Those are pretty good, those are pretty good. I have Dyson Sphere myself. I just, uh, just not a fan of those factory games though. It just ends up being like... It doesn't feel like I'm making progress. Two Point Hospital! I feel like Two Point Hospital could be a lot better. I don't like how they did the room decorations for the room level ups. Did they ever fix that, Engvall? That's the only thing I had with that game. The fact that... Oh, we don't have food. Oh, they're going to start starving. All right. This needs to be a higher priority. Oh, I don't have any cooks. That's why. Oh, I didn't take any cooks. Okay. So, Scarlet Man. You're going to be a cook, buddy. Who's starving? Silent one? Oh, it's already bad news, Bears. Is he going to make the night? Oh, I see you over there. I enjoy the punny, witty comedy. Not bad, not bad. I feel like it got too tedious for me. Like, the game is, is potentially cool. It's just the fact that... Man, doing any progression in that game feels like a slog. Get rid of the snore. I have to wait, man. I don't have, I don't have uh, progress right now. I better make the night. <laughs> I see a silent one. We're watching our cake cows, man. Alright, so... We are going to make an anti-snorer schedule. For Scarlet One. I mean, a Scarlet Man. We're going to move his nap time. A little bit back. Alright, so... Let's do the priorities properly. So we'll push this down to seven. So that Scarlet Man moves out of that. This guy needs some cake house. Please tell me he does that fast enough, man. This looks like the point of view of your toilet bowl when you're taking a dump. And it's, uh, you're constipated. Oh, what? Alright, we need another operator. Uh, so... How do I want to do this? We'll make Silent One cook his own meals. <laughs> Silent One, you got this, buddy. That way you'll be right there when the food's done. It's a grind fast, but with the custom soundtracks and ability to make custom pictures and rugs, adds a little bit of creativity to it. Not bad, not bad. Is it Don't Starve or Oni? Uh, the creators of Oni is the ones that made Don't Starve, so I would imagine it's kind of a combination of both. What's going on, Halitzkajof? I can't pronounce that, but I'm assuming you're Nordic. Now we have two people starving? Uh, look at that. Fresh food poisoning. Right off the grill. Hopefully he's going to be okay with that. Alright. Food's already an issue. Oh, no. Don't get sick. Don't get sick. He shrugged it off. Nice. Didn't get sick, boys. Didn't get sick. All right, so after that, they're going to be cooking. We got to allow them to cook. Now, who's starving? Steph needs food. Steph, how long can you wait? Damn, Steph is already at minus five. All right, we need you moving, Steph. Can you mind this? 
Steph, can you can you mind this? I don't want you to die, Steph. Getting really hungry. And you're really stressed for some reason. Somehow Steph is the only one that's really stressed. Steph, was your cookie green? Like that? Oh man. I need my mealwood to grow. Oh, we're out of power. Alright, so that's gonna be food. Who's gonna eat that? Silent one does. Okay, he's getting calories. Steph is at a thousand. We need more cake house boys. Oh, uh, this is gonna be tough. Teal? You had some M&Ms on it. I see you over there. Oh man. Time for a massage table. <laughs> Actually getting a massage table, imagine. I don't get why Steph is mad. Oh, the snoring. Oh, man. It's Scarlet Man's fault, dude. It was a macaroon. Oh, that's not bad. Lawn mower simulator. Dude, those simulator games are memes, dude. Not gonna lie. Don't die, Scarlet Man. Don't die. We need you eating that. Oh, man. Alright, high stress. Uh, we need to separate. But I don't have time, dude. <laughs> I don't have time to build a bed. I'd rather build a farm. In all realisticness. Steph is going to start banshee welling, dude. I'm so worried. Alright, at least no one's starving, right? That's that's the upside right now. Now, the downside is, is that we're not doing research and we're not progressing. So, this is going to eventually freeze my base. And I won't be able to uh, <laughs> seal up this area from the cold energy. Uh, is there any natural food on the ground right now? We could go grab. There's one muckroot right there. Just one. Oh, man. This is tough. Harvest ready. Grub grubs. Are these guys cramped? They're not. Oh, they are. Okay. I need to go free those guys when I can as well. This is going to be tough. Build one block next to the farm to catch food. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Aloe's arm makes no sense. Is there a setting that makes the starting biome small? Uh, when you're selecting your start in the very beginning of starting a new save, it will ask you for a classic start or a spaced out start. I'm playing on the spaced out start. Now, in combination with that, I'm playing on the flipped asteroid that puts you at the bottom of the map. So that's why it might seem like my base is small because I have to go upwards. That's just the design of the asteroid. Unreachable food, so we do have some people that are hungry. Classic is about 2.5 times larger than uh, Spaced Out Start, I believe. 2.5? 2.5. 15, 2000, 12. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be... Uh... Alright, Staff is Stress is going down. And Scarlet Man... Oh, we didn't move him. Scarlet Man, we're, we're changing you to the other schedule, so you're going to continue working, man. I'm sorry. You can't be sleeping same time Steph is sleeping. You're making her angry. But she's at 69% stress. Nice.
Cushman, I see you over there. Yep, just like no DLC. The classic starts. Oh man, this is already a mad struggle. Oh, he made food and he ate it immediately. Alright, mealwood, once it fully grows, I think it's going to be the point of which we could start progressing. Because uh, food is what's holding us back right now, I believe. Straight from the musher. They gotta do it, man. No one's got food poisoning yet. I'm kind of impressed. Steph is stressed out again. Feels bad. How long would you have before the cold comes in? So I'm I'm researching right now. Insulated tile. So once we get that, we could stop it. We just literally need to just get the tech. So once we got it, I think it's going to be not that bad. I just need to get to that point though. So we do have something that we could use to stop it. But we, we need to get to that point though. We got to continue making this. Real talk. <laughs> we, we need the mush bars, man. All right, so we have to add in more dirt. Temperature range is okay for now. We're gonna seal off of this side first, most likely, as that makes the most sense, I think. Fertilization. I keep getting those that that pinging sound. What's happening? Who's starving? Salwin. We have no food. Feels bad, man. Look at this guy sleeping on the ground like he doesn't have to work. Wake up, son. Scarlet man. No naps in this house. Oh, he got food poisoning. Oh, Scarlet man. Why'd you get food poisoning, man? You gotta spend extra time in the bathroom. Feels bad, yo. Shouldn't have that uh thing you had for lunch yesterday. All right, Silent One gets the food. Come on, you got to get it before uh, Steph steals it. The only other thing we could do right now is kill the hatch. Oh, <gasps> there's a muckroot on the tile. Oh man, I'm going to grab that. <laughs> I'm going to grab that. Mud cakes ain't healthy, yo man. Mud cakes, come on man. Have you guys seen that episode of Rugrats where uh, the the Rugrats, they make a mud pie because they hear their parents talk about it. So they go out into the backyard and they actually make a pie from mud, not knowing it's chocolate. Food poisoning from that delicious food. Staff, don't die on me. Eat that mush bar, man. You got this. Oh, you got robbed by Scarlet Man. Steph actually dying. Gets food stolen from him. Steph, take that. Get that. Oh, look at the range. Look at the range when you're when you're hungry. You got unlimited range. Y'all see that? She picked up food 10 tiles away. That shit was godlike. Oh my god. That's what you call a pro gamer move. That's what you call a pro gamer move, man. That was really impressive. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, and they're harvesting? Oh, come on. Can we get food? Water sucks. It really, really sucks. I will take it, though. Feels bad, man. Does someone mind this dude? Well, if Scarlet Man does that, ah, come on, Scarlet Man needs to take a dump. And then you are going to chill. Uh, can I do this? Staff, don't die. 
Steph is sleeping on an empty stomach. Oh, oh, you're gonna eat that? Oh, that was supposed to be for Steph. Oh, sign one, dude. What a guy. Steph's gonna die now. All right, all right, Scarlet Man. Make some food. You can do that for us. We need some food, buddy. Maybe harvest. Harvest the mealwood. That's another good move. Steph has calories. Oh, Steph has food. Scarlet Man robs her again. Oh my god. Alright, so the germs. Uh, smack slider so we don't disinfect when we don't need to. Oh, oh, oh. Catches the food from the ground. Tentile range. Let's go, Steph. Unlimited range. Steph barely ate a bite. Oh, man. All right, Steph. We're making you farm. Steph, farmer Steph. And her mealwood farm. You got the Steph. You'll get some food right there. Steph, eat the food. Ah, uh, there we go. Good old mealwood. We need you to keep harvesting. Oh, come on, you keep eating. You should keep eating, Steph. There we go. Alright, alright. So once the mealwood farm grows large enough and starts rolling, we'll be okay. But we need this. <laughs> we need this to roll. And we're only going to survive as long as we have dirt. It's kind of, it's kind of, you know. It's not a good sign. I want to watch over my dirt then. Everything else I don't really care for, I don't think. Maybe algae. I don't have pips either. Oh, man. I see you found that one muckroot. That's what I wrote about the block. Oh! This tile. I was like... What? Putting a block on the side? I have no idea what you're talking about, man. I was like, what does a tile have to do with food? <laughs> I was confused, Alazar, but I see you over there. There was a muckroot on the tile that you were talking about. Oh, dude, we're actually having a positive amount of cake cows right now. That's actually kind of impressive. That's actually kind of impressive. All right, looks like we're not going to have time to dig this out for a minute. So we're going to use this as a uh, farm. Not a farm, a uh, place to store food so that it doesn't spoil as fast. Steph is always antsy, man. All right, so we're going to get rid of the snoring guy. Net negative. This is good. Net negative. And then it's all about the breathability for now. There's some pockets of oxalite on the side still. Scarlet Man. Sleeping in the toilets, getting food poisoning constantly. That's probably not the play if you don't want to get food poisoning. Oh, and he wakes up immediately, takes a dump. Maybe that was calculated. Strategic sleeping uh, spots so that he could wake up and have minimal travel time to start off the next day. I don't know if that's smart or uh, coincidence. Alright, we're at 3,000 kcals. Yes. Uh, Snoreman bed sleeps on a different schedule. That's what we did. We could not move his bed because I put the tile right here. And it's been about four cycles and no one has built it yet because everyone's focusing on making food right now. So as much as I want to move his bed, no one has time to because we're trying to make sure no one starves. <laughs> so instead, we just put him on a separate schedule. So when he sleeps, no one else is sleeping. That makes it so that it's more convenient. So when you sleep, you're alone. Silent one passes by, takes a nap on the other bed. And then we make Scarlet Man work. That's a strats. So no one's snoring anymore. The man snores alone.
Ah, uh, we're starving again. Come on, we have we have calories. We have calories. Oh no. Is it loud stuff? Does it sound like a fun time? Look at these hatches, man. Where do they come from? I'm just over there eating my minerals. Oh man, that was bad stuff. Hopefully, uh, they stop. Oh, and they're done making it? Nah, man. Can't stop. We need more mush bars. Copy paste. I see, I see. Are plants resistant to cold? No. I am trying to tack up insulated time. Oh, we finished? Oh, we finished. Nice. Okay. Uh, we are actually going to slow down on research because I actually have no way to keep up. So now we could come in with some insulated tiles. So I want to mine this out. I actually want to seal the other side as well, but I don't have real capabilities right now. So we're going to slow down the research so Silent One can help us out, get more stable. And then we're going to start lining up some of the areas with insulated tiles so that the cold energy doesn't matter as much. But I do need to do this sooner than later. So this is going to be one of the things we're going to want to do now. Theoretically, we don't really need the ration box because we're eating all the calories as soon as we can anyways. And we're going to have a temp ladder right here so that we could replace this granite line with an insulated line. So we're going to want a line from here to here. Ideally. 2,000 kcals. We go through to 6,000 kcals over the three dupes. We need to grow more mealwood. And then once we get enough mealwood, we could stop cooking. And then we could start growing the base a little bit better. I don't want to think about it, but I do need to get to the Sweetles because otherwise they're going to cr get cramped and we're going to reduce the number of overall Sweetles we'll have, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it's things we got to do. Over here, there's nothing. You know what would be great right now? Finding a vending machine with nutrient bars inside. <laughs> That'd be pretty sweet, man. I'm just saying. That would be pretty sweet. You know what's actually very convenient, too? If I were to get Paku, they would flop into this water tank over here. That would be pretty convenient. We're out of mealwood seeds? That's actually impressive. We're going to actually have to dig up mealwood from uh, some of the existing areas and take the seeds. Okay. I mean, I, I knew I had to do something similar, but I didn't think it'd be something like that. Alright, so we're going up this way. It's going to be important. So we're going to make the ladder every other. Oh, we got an extra seed. Nice. Every time we harvest. There we go. Growing some mealwood, boys. Let's go, let's go. Scarlet keeps sleeping outside of his bed for some reason. Staff is starving. Come on, Staff. Eat some meal lice. You're not you when you're hungry. Oh, Steph got food poisoning. That's uh, that's totally Scarlet Man's fault. Yep. Scarlet Man was cooking. He didn't wash his hands. Have you guys seen that? I don't know if it went viral. There was a uh, Indian street 
vendor that was cooking. And he pours water over his own hands while making whatever it is he's cooking. And that water goes into the sauce. Have you guys seen that? Dude, that stuff was wild. That stuff was wild, man. I think he was like making like a curry or something. And then it, the, the thing was, was that apparently he grabs spices with his hands and he was trying to get the rest of the s spices and seasoning off of his hands. So I guess the logic is if I picked up spices with my hands, it'd be okay to run the water over it as well. That's probably the logic. But uh, man, it just looks gross when you watch it happen. He has a ladle with water, pours it right over his hands. Oh, oh, food! Man, I, I can't say no to a snazzy suit. Gotta look, gotta look baller, dude. That's the name of the game. Gotta look good. No cake cow special, though. Good news is, is that we're going to get some mealwood soon, and we should start to balance out. Staff perpetually... Now you're stressed out because you're sick, right? No, it's just the max difficulty that's that's uh, bopping you on the face. For whatever reason, oh, your, your, your small bladder, dude, keeps bopping you. Oh, and because you're food poisoning. Feels bad, man. Dude, it feels like we're making no progress. This is kind of gross. It really feels like we're going to have a really bad time. But I have faith that the moment we get to stability, which is, you know, with more mule wood, I think it'll be okay. I just need to get to that point. I just hope I don't run out of dirt before that happens. If that's a very likely outcome. We run out of dirt and we kind of screwed. <laughs> Get kind of screwed, man. Just saying. All right. So we're building the food ration box. Nice. Um, sure. Max priority. Anything that's edible. None of the muck root or nutrient bars, though, because that's non-perishable. All right, so the easiest thing we could do is make a bedroom. And this will help out the morale. We get one for the bathroom already, but if I give them one more in here, we should be a little bit better off. Because we, we need to deal with the stress. Staff needs to get rid of the food poisoning, man. She keeps rubbing her belly. So let's be taking care of us. Yeah, man. This is the first time I'm doing max difficulty. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than this. Of course, that's probably my fault. <laughs> so that's my bad, man. We'll, we'll, we'll take good care of you guys soon. But until then, you guys got to be soldiers and champ it out. Our calories are looking healthy. There's no reason to starve anymore. The next research I'm actually going to grab is going to be batteries. Yeah, they keep running out of power. <laughs> I want jumbo batteries, man. We're going to need that right now. Steph doesn't even sleep on her bed. Feels bad. Nice, nice. 
storing the food so that it lasts. Steph sleeping on the floor feels bad, man. Oh, we're gonna get that bedroom bonus. Hey, there it is, barracks. Let's go, let's go. Uh, the next thing we need is guaranteed the ladders. Like, there's no way around it. We need to do that now before the cold overtakes us. It's gonna be a cold time, boys. Cold time. There is also... We could just grab the sleep weed right now. The only thing I need to do for that is an electric grill. I can make frost buns. I might have to go for that early. Dude, listening to Steph make that sound all day, man, because she's stressed out. Y'all hear that sound? That's Steph making that sound. <laughs> That's the sound you make when you have Banshee Whale, I believe. When you're really stressed. Alright, so now Steph could start mining that. Good stuff. And we're getting close. We're waiting for some new seeds, so it doesn't really matter. Steph is getting a good night's sleep. Steph leveled up while sleeping. Skills. I see you over there, Steph. somehow leveled up while sleeping guys imagine being able to learn while you sleep if that ever gets discovered how much would that change the world you could you could put on a ted talk or something put the headphones on and then you learn about subjects i know kung fu i see over there surreal did you learn that in your sleep, though? Steph gotta take a leap. It would be a dream. I see you over there. In the Matrix. Oh, man. It would it would totally make a Matrix. I wouldn't be so stressed about learning uh, Thai anymore. I see you over there. Alright, so we gotta do this. I think, yeah, 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 I think this is fine. We we use the ceiling right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be so cool, man. Like, imagine just being able to go to sleep and study how much time we would have, the world would have. I, I, could, I could imagine people, like, creating things at a certain point where it's like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm a stock analyst. So what I do is I sleep during the daytime and then I have all the trades and the happenings on the uh, <laughs> Dow Jones. Just just run through, the, run through the dreams and I learn about it. And then the next day I make uh, buys and sells. <laughs> Something crazy like that. Like, oh man, that's kind of smart. It's called the internet. Imagine how we were before that, dude. Was was the internet a blessing or was it a curse? It's one of those things, man. Have you guys seen the movie 300? With, uh, you know, Xerxes and Leonidas? There was a scene where... Where uh, Xerxes, the, the, uh, the king, right? He goes, ignorance is bliss. Right? You not knowing is beneficial to you. Because of the fact that, you know, you don't know what's happening. And because you don't know, you don't have to worry about it. I feel like that's, that's the same thing with the internet. I feel it because of the internet, I learned about so much more that that's than necessary. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those, like, things like that surreal. There's a, like, 
I don't want to say it's byproducts, but it's more so things that will happen, right? Because it's like, that happens in real life all the time. Just that it doesn't happen in some other places, and it happens more in some places than others. You hate to see it, but it's like, man, people call that human nature. Oh, and we get the battery, right? New battery, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start insulating this, going all the way up to the abyssal light. And once we do that, we're gonna go at the bottom, all the way across. That way we could protect our mealwood. And then we're gonna have to go over here to uh, line this up as well. Uglar, this wood is good. I see you over there, how you is. How was the Thursdays, man? We're struggling. We, we almost died like five times. Everyone's constantly starving. Staff is stressed out at 80%, man. It's, it's not looking too good, if you know what I mean. But how you doing, Oglarvis? This is going to be our first max difficulty run. We're learning the ropes and seeing uh, what it is we have to learn to be uh, good at playing max difficulty. I, I want this to be a full playthrough and not just a learning experience, but we'll see what happens. You never know with these type of things, right? But that's me, man. Full panic mode. Food! Give me food! Oh, joyous seeds. I'll take that. I can't take dupes right now because I have zero cake counts. The meal lice is about to grow again, though. I can't wait. And then we just need some more seeds. Alright, so we got up to here. I need to mine out these two tiles. And then we could grab this meal wood. There is a Verso Berry right there. 90% fresh, and then we can grow, uh, pick up the Muckroot. So we're going to want to build the ladder ASAP. Come on, Quinn. Build the ladder. Thank you, Scarlet Man. Now you can build these tiles when you're ready. Staff, get the seed. We have food. Get the Bristle Berry. Oh, the mealwood. Nice. Steph is smart. Plants the mealwood. Alright, we need to mine this out once we're ready as well. Nice, nice. We're uh, sealing this up. Stopping the cold from coming in. We're making progress, boys. Alright, so we stopped making mush bars. I don't know if that's a good move or not. It does save us a little bit of time. In the sense that I won't be spending a lot of time just doing this. Oh, and I don't have water. That's why. That's why. Okay. Uh, 8,000, huh? Yeah, it's going to be tough to grab the water from there without breaking anything. Most likely it's going to be from here then. So, I will need to mine this out. That's the next area we're going to want to mine out, so we can grab the water from there. That might mean the fish come out this way. I guess that's not too bad. This gives us a little bit of time to explore as well, and before the water freezes. Technically, the water helps us out. By uh, making it so that... It doesn't absorb the cold energy as fast. Good SXC value, right? Specific heat capacity. It takes the cold energy, more energy to freeze that. Hmm. Who's starving, dude? Just get some food. Alright, so we could do that and then mine out the sand while standing on the platform. All right, next thing we got to mine is those five tiles and then replace that with insulated. And that should just drastically slow it down. All right, next thing we need is a second row of mealwood. Third row, I'm sorry. I uh, can't count. And uh, we got some seeds already. That's kind of nice. Oh, there's muckroot right here. Sweet. I'm starving. I was starving, but now I'm not. Had a pita bread and hummus. Dude. I had spinach artichoke hummus recently, 
It was pretty good. It's pretty good, man. What is your favorite hummus? Uh, I guess flavor. People of chat. Roasted garlic and jalapeno was up there. I don't know why. That combination is delicious. Nice. We got water now. Alright, so this is going to be okay. Roasted pine nut and olive oil. Really? Roasted pine nut and olive oil hummus. Yo, Engvol, are you Italian? This guy, Silent One, cleaning the toilets. Thank you, Silent One. Polish, actually. I was going to say, man. Hummus for hippies. I see over the Cthulhu. Cthulhu is all about uh, the chilies and the queso dips, man. Knows about that. Supremely spicy Sabra. The Sabra hummus. I see you over there. Alright, we're starting to have some cake outs. I'm going to hold back from the micro musher. As that generates food poisoning on my dupes. So we're going to chill out with that. And then build that out before we get into the research. Oh, and then we have the jumbo battery. That's right. Dude, if you guys haven't had it, man, spicy, or not spicy, garlic jalapeno hummus, delicious. Six thousand K cows, guys. This is a slow progress, but we're making it. This vacuum right here is helping us, actually. Believe it or not, it's stopping the cold energy from leaking through. So I'm going to try to keep that vacuum pocket for now. And once we get these five tiles built, we're going to seal this up on the uh, side over here. And if seal two starts to become an issue, we know what we got to do. We got some tiles to mine. Sabra just now coming back to the stores after recall. Oh, they had a recall? I didn't know. Dude, man, anytime you hear about food recall, it's it's a bad time. Food recalls are not the business. Ah, oh, look at Steph cleaning the toilets, getting stronger as she does it. Voluntary recall? Dude, why? What happened? Did they mess up? I mean, a lot of the times if they do a voluntary recall, that's better than actually having a store call it. Yeah, salmonella is, is tough times then. So the difference between a required recall and a voluntary recall is, is usually uh, who catches it and then the size of the damage. Voluntary ones are usually not that big, right? Because of the fact that... Uh, you know, they, they caught it early, so to speak. It could be something I've never bought before, and I still can check if I have some. I see you over there, Cthulhu. Cthulhu sounds like me. He goes to the fridge to check to see what he has, even though he knows exactly what's in his fridge. Does anyone in chat do that? You're, you might be hungry, you might not be hungry. And you guys are like, hey man, what's in the fridge? Check it out. Open the door. It's like, oh yeah, the same thing it was 10 minutes ago. Because I didn't go shopping. <laughs> you guys ever do that, man? Am I alone? You just go in and be like, huh. What do we have today? Oh, same shit as always. <laughs> go figure, right? Same Engvold, man. He feels me. He feels the plight. All right, so this is about done. We're going to be setting up the left side now, waiting for more seeds. I could grow blossom seeds, but uh, needs water, and I don't want to get into that yet. Starving? What? Was someone actually starving? Oh, yeah, they're eating now. They're eating now. Nice. Nice. 
nice, nice. Alright, so we gotta do that to seal off this side, because it's very close to our plants. That way we could grow more plants. So guys, I have a weird question for you guys. It's a really weird question. And I'm a little bit self-conscious about this, so... I need you guys to be, uh, cool. Has anyone ever heard me fart on the mic? Like, not me farting into the mic. Has everyone, anyone ever heard, like, a weird sound? Like, oh man, dude legit just ripped one. <laughs> no one, right? I just want to make sure. That the noise gate is working properly. Add two more. That's not bad. That's, I think we can still make the jump. No. Okay. Nice. Nice. That's good to know, guys. Good to know. Always blame it on Mamba, dude. Mamba, dude. He's farted one time before, dude. And it caught me off guard. I was like, who the fuck farted? And I look at Mamba and he's staring right at me. He's like, he knows. <laughs> Freaking Mamba, man. Kind of new to the game. I made a mistake of piping water from a geyser to my water storage, which was in the middle of my base. Now my whole base is hot and I don't know how to cool it. Oh, slider blast. A lot of the times that will heat up your base. Uh, I guess I'll take the ice. So if you ran into an issue like that and you're looking for some help, the first thing I got to ask is, do you have insulated tile tech? Good on the farts, no worries. Nice. I see you over there, Cyberdyne. Hope you're having a good Thursdays. There's this chick at work, and she farts loud all the time. I don't think she knows we could hear it. <laughs> Dude. You gotta learn some sign language. And let her know, man. Or, or, or maybe you, you know, just let her be happy. Let her just rip a, a loud one every now and then. <laughs> slider blast so first thing is i'm pretty sure you already stopped pumping water from the geyser into your water storage right that's the first thing you got to do you got to stop that because you're introducing new heat to your water box second thing is do you have this insulated tile that's going to be on the bottom left and insulated tile this is one of the early researches you could get right here right here in gases tab and you only need a supercomputer the reason why you would want this is because it keeps the heat inside if you make a box with it so what you can do is since you already have the hot water where your base is you could try to make a box around the water so that the heat doesn't leave now if you still want to go in and out you're going to have to make a liquid lock uh, I could show you how a liquid lock, uh, do you know what a liquid lock is? That's the first thing I gotta ask. How dangerous are Wii's words now that they emit radiation? I need to cool my spawn gases and I would use them, but I'm not sure it's a good idea. The radiation is only bad if your duplicates idle next to a Wii's word exactly within the three tiles range. So if you have a Wii's word and your duplicates stand there for the entire cycle, they will start to get sick. However, if you just put that in a room and you make it so that your duplicates cannot go inside said room, the radiation is not going to hurt you. Uh, general rule of thumb, radiation around 100 to 150 is going to require your duplicates to kind of sleep in that environment for them to even start to get sick. And you'll notice it. You'll get uh, notifications that you're getting minor radiation sickness and things like that. At that point, it's really not that bad. It's only once it starts getting to the 1000s where they'll potentially start to get sick by just walking by. In the 100s range, they kind of have to, like, just sit in it long term. Oh yeah, no, no, no. The, if, you, if you didn't know, radiation kills all the germs in the vicinity. So it's actually beneficial to use the Wee's wort for some of your bathroom water. Because the radiation emitted from the Wee's Ward or anything else 
uh, kills germs. Radiation has germ killing properties. So it's pretty good, actually. It's the water that feeds my toilets and showers, so that's why my base is getting hotter, I think. Ah, okay. So... Okay, so... If it's not your water source and you're talking about the water that's in your uh, bathroom loop and whatnot, the easiest thing to do is change the water, right? Just remove that and pump in cool water to have that reset. Now, if you're looking for spot cooling ideas, I could give you both a long term and a short term. Uh, the short term cooling method is if you have ice, right? So this is ice right here, right? If you have this, you could build two things. Uh, I don't have it right now, but the two things you could build is called a temp shift plate. The temp shift plate right here on this tech right here in solid material requires supercomputer. You could build this out of ice. And what it does is it makes a ice plate that averages out the temperature. And if it's above a certain degrees, it immediately melts all the ice and you get a layer of zero degree water on the ground that will immediately cool down the area and you could even see it if you don't have that tech there is another building you could use that's not as effective but gives you the same results called the ice sculpture right here if you make the ice block that's supposed to be a ice sculpture that you use for your decorations you can make that out of ice and if the area is hot it will melt and you want it to melt what happens when the water spills on the ground is because you're going to have very cold water at zero degrees, it immediately cools down the area. And you could use that as a short term spot cooling method. That means that you will immediately lower the temperature, but that only happens for that one time. After you mop up the water, it's going to go away. So you could leave the water there for a while so that the tiles get colder and then mop it up afterwards. But you're going to have to do that every so often if the area keeps heating up. So that's a short term spot cooling method for either the temp shift plate or the ice block. Now, the long term method is only feasible if you have cold water source. A cold water source is water that's closer to zero than it is to anything else. So negative 10 water from one of the geysers like uh, cool salt slush or cool slush geyser would be great. If you have a polluted water vent, this is 30 degree water that also works. But outside of those three, it's not gonna be feasible. And if you don't have that, you could technically just use ice to cool down your water pool and then pull from your uh, pool of water and then use that. And what you could build is a, oh, I don't have piping yet. You could build a pipeline in a loop and run your cold water in that so that it just runs in the background, keeping the area cold. And water is actually a top three liquid in terms of specific heat capacity. And because it's so good, it's gonna take longer for that to actually heat up. Now, the problem is, is that there's a little bit of a setup you have to make that I can't show you because I don't have the capabilities in the research yet that you kind of need to understand so that your system could automatically remove the water once the water warms up to a certain point but at that point um yeah i, I can't help you out with that yet but if you need help slatter blast and you're uh oh sounds like a great idea i will try when i log on tomorrow then look for an alternative water source nice but uh yeah if you do need help still check out my discord you could always dm me if I'm not streaming, I could actually like post some screenshots of what you should try to do. That way it's going to be easier to follow. But uh, yeah, I can't do that right now. <laughs> but yeah, hope that helps. Let me know if it works out. And if it doesn't, we got some more ideas. But dude, don't forget to check out the Discord. I'm always going to be on there. If you need help, if you need some ideas, whatever it may be, I got you guys. All right, so Steph's stress has gone down from 80%. That's actually good. KCALs are around 8k now. This is pretty good. We're actually doing 10 meal woods per duplicate in order to actually be ahead on the calories. So because of that, we need some more seeds and we're still trying to seal this up. I don't know why my dupes are lagging it, but we got to do that. <laughs> 